Are you a local small business owner looking to stay successful in the face of economic uncertainty? In this video, you'll discover three essential tips on how to recession-proof your business and grow it even during times of financial uncertainty. Stay tuned. As a hard-working small business owner, you may be feeling overwhelmed by the current economic climate. But don't worry, there are ways to keep your business afloat and even thrive in spite of the recession. The three tips we'll discover today to help you recession-proof your local small business are Tip 1. Focus on your core competencies. These are the areas of your business that you do best, and by focusing on them, you can ensure that you are providing the best products or services to your customers. Tip two, utilize the power of relationships. Now more than ever, it's important to build strong relationships with your customers, partners, and vendors. Tip three, invest in marketing. An effective marketing campaign can help draw more customers to you and increase revenue. Before we get into that, there are three dangerous pitfalls that all small business owners face that keep them overwhelmed, putting out fires and chained to their business. And you'll want to know what they are and how to avoid them. I'll tell you more about this later in the video. Now, let's get into tip number one, focus on your core competencies. I understand the importance of focusing on core competency, and that's why it is the first tip I am sharing with you. Focusing on your core competencies means investing in areas that are important to the success of your business. You want to identify what makes your business unique and focus on offering those services or products. For example, if you own a restaurant, you might focus on specializing in one type of cuisine. Instead of offering a variety of different meals, you could specialize in one specific item, such as Italian food, or be and become known for it. This way, customers will remember your restaurant when they think of Italian cuisine. By focusing on core competencies, you can also ensure that the quality of your products or services remain consistent. When you specialize in one area, you can perfect the art and be confident that customers will be receiving top-notch service every time they come into your establishment. Finally, focusing on core competencies allows you to save money and stay competitive. By specializing in one area rather than several, you are able to reduce costs associated with training employees and purchasing new equipment for different types of services or products. Overall, focusing on core competencies is an essential step toward recession-proofing your small business and ensuring its longevity during difficult economic times. Now, let's look at tip number two, utilizing the power of relationships with customers, vendors, and partners. Building strong relationships with your customers, vendors, and partners is essential for the success of your small business. It's important to create an environment where people feel heard and valued. By listening to feedback from all stakeholders, you can ensure that your business is meeting customer needs and providing them with the best service or product possible. Additionally, having strong relationships opens up opportunities for collaboration. Partnering with other local businesses allows you to expand your reach and tap into new customer bases. You can also leverage each other's resources and talents in order to better serve your customers. Developing strong relationships with vendors is also important because it ensures that you are getting quality products at the best prices. When vendors know that you value their business, they will be more likely to provide competitive pricing as well as discounts on large orders. This is especially helpful during times of economic recession when costs tend to increase due to inflationary pressures in the market. Furthermore, having good relationships with vendors helps ensure the reliable delivery of goods and services, which is key to customer satisfaction and retention. Therefore, taking the time to build meaningful relationships with all stakeholders is a great way to recession-proof your local small business during difficult economic times. My third tip is investing in marketing to draw in more customers to your business and increase revenue. Investing in marketing is one of the best ways to draw in more customers and increase revenue. By utilizing targeted advertising campaigns, you can reach a wider audience 
and make sure that your message is getting through to potential customers. Additionally, it's important to focus on customer retention. Studies have shown that it is much easier to retain existing customers than it is to acquire new ones. By investing in marketing, you can ensure that your current customers stay engaged with your brand and continue to purchase from you. You can do this by providing them with personalized offers or discounts on their favorite products or services. You can also use email campaigns or social media marketing to keep them informed about any new products or services that you are offering. Additionally, investing in marketing allows you to expand into new markets and reach potential customers who may not be aware of your business otherwise. You may also be able to access other sources of revenue, such as affiliate programs, by reaching out to influencers on social media platforms like Instagram or YouTube. This can help grow your business exponentially as well as bring attention from larger companies who may want to partner with you for future projects. Overall, investing in marketing is an essential step toward recession-proofing your local small business and ensuring its success during difficult economic times. It will help increase sales, attract more customers, and open up opportunities for partnership and collaboration. Also, stay up to date. Make sure you are aware of current trends and changes in the market so you can adjust your business plan accordingly. In order to stay up to date with current trends and changes in the market, it's important to stay informed and be proactive. This means keeping an eye on industry news, monitoring customer feedback, and conducting market research to identify new opportunities. By staying informed, you can quickly adapt to any changes in the market and adjust your business plan accordingly. It's also important to take advantage of technological advances that may help your business. For example, you can utilize cloud-based solutions that allow you to access data remotely and collaborate more efficiently with your team. You can also use automation tools such as bots or chatbots to streamline processes and save time while still providing customers with quality service. Additionally, investing in digital marketing strategies like SEO or PPC advertising can help get your message out there and increase visibility for your small business. Finally, networking is key to staying up to date and connecting with other professionals in your field. Attending industry events or conferences allows you to meet potential clients or investors who could help fund your business during difficult economic times. It's also a great way to build relationships with vendors who can provide you with competitive pricing on products or services. Overall, staying up to date on current trends and changes in the market is an essential for recession-proofing your local small business. By being proactive and taking advantage of technological advances, as well as networking with other professionals in your field, you can ensure that you have all the necessary resources at hand when navigating difficult economic times. By following these tips, you can confidently prove to yourself that you can be successful in your local small business. But it doesn't stop there. If you want to take your business to the next level, then I have one more tip for you. Register for my three dangerous pitfalls web class. You'll learn how to avoid the most common mistakes that small business owners make so you can confidently make the most of your business in any economic climate. I'm confident that with these tips, you can be successful and really reignite your business. I highly recommend leaving comments below this video about any experiences that you have had related to these topics. Sharing stories about what has worked for you or how you overcame challenges can help other local business owners learn from your experiences. It's always good to hear different perspectives so that we can all benefit from each other's successes and failures. Additionally, offering constructive advice or suggesting helpful resources can also be beneficial for everyone who watches this video. Overall, leaving a comment below this video will not only help others, but also be incredibly rewarding itself. Would you like to learn more about recession-proofing your business or other topics regarding business success? Yes? Great. Then there are a few things that you need to do right now. First, please like this video so I know you got value and I'll make more videos like this one. Second, subscribe to this channel and click the bell to get notified whenever we post a new video so that you don't miss a single piece of the valuable information we share. I'm Doug Barra. 
I believe it takes great courage to own a local small business. For the last 16 years, I've ensured that business owners like yourself get the time, money, and freedom you deserve. Be sure to click the link in the description below to register for the Three Pitfalls web class. Thanks for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the web class.